Hi. Hello. GM. So we just talked about talk. Let's talk about tact and uh, other developer tools, right? So um, let me start by introducing Tone Studio, which I represent here on the stage. So Tone Studio is basically an engineering company. We uh, a bunch of experienced engineers, and we work uh, in two directions. It's Telegram mini apps led by Gleb Baronsov and smart contracts um, tooling around that and you know all that like related stuff that I will be talking about today. Uh, that's my area of uh, expertise and that's, that's the direction I'm leading. So um, let's talk about TACT. So TACT's uh, primary mission was to onboard new developers on Tone blockchain, right? And if you are a developer or if you're like technical manager, uh, you already know this, uh, especially if you're a technical manager, you know the pain of uh, bringing, finding more developers, right? Uh, they're a rare kind. So TACT tries to solve this problem. So first of all, what is TACT? If, you probably have heard about that, right? So it's a statically typed, call by value, very expressive uh, smart contract language, right? It has support for message passing, which is inherent to the Tom blockchain architecture. It has support for some reusable components uh, called traits and also libraries. It generates serializers, deserializers for you. Um, it has uh, partial TLB support at this moment, but more about this a little bit later. And also generates some TypeScript wrappers for your local sandbox tests, so you can emulate uh, the behavior of your contracts locally on your machine without going to slow test net or main net. Right, so uh, it's open source, and not only it's open source, it's also open development. So everything is in the open. You can come to us, you can open an issue, you can raise a PR, whatever. Like, you can see everything we're doing. Uh, there is almost no privacy whatsoever. So you can follow our development pretty closely. Uh, also, yeah, as I mentioned, it simplifies onboarding for the new on developers, but uh, with uh, upcoming changes, we are aiming to be the language for Tone blockchain. So looking back, uh, TACT is a young language, but it has been around for a while, right? So what are the uh, 2024 TACT updates? We have more than 5,000 weekly downloads on NPM where the TACT compiler is published. Uh, more than uh, 1,600 uh, repositories on GitHub uh, with like more than 2,000 files already deployed there. Uh, we made 11 releases, uh, including four major ones during the past year. And more importantly, we grew the tag team from just me joining a year ago Town Foundation to six people working full time on TAC compiler and its development tools. And that's our greatest asset. The people who, are, who will be building the tools for you to build on Tone, to launch your dApps. So uh, by the way, uh, there is at least two projects uh, that use TAC in production. Uh, one of them is Pixel Swap, and the other one uh, that I know about is uh, Gas Pump. Um, OK, what else? So uh, TACT as a language, we added a bunch of new features like uh, assignment operators, uh, try-catch statements. It's kind of like trying to catch up with the fancy compiler. Uh, but we also provide lots of uh, higher level uh, components, right? So we have like Unicode strings and new syntactic sugar for structures, for instance. And moreover, there is uh, a lot more about um, actually serializing, deserializing structures, uh, using map operations, including like it's really easy in TAC to traverse a map. You just say for each and then here you go. You, you get all the keys and values of the map. Uh, recently we added uh, as assembly functions. So you can go low level uh, with TAC to, for instance, save on gas. Uh, there is new built-ins and new standard library functions, and we are still growing and growing the set of available functions for you, like out of the box. Uh, there's also better error messages from the compiler. We improve debugging a lot. Uh, there is uh, lots of new documentation. And also, 
there's a tons of bug bugs fixed during uh, last summer when people started contributing a lot to the Tom blockchain ecosystem during the Open League hackathons. So speaking of bugs, is it okay to use tact in production? Like, I mean, besides those two things, uh, two projects that I just mentioned, uh, our answer is, yeah, we need to ensure tax security, right? And to do that, one of the best tools we have is uh, security audits by uh, one of the best companies out there who do that for crypto space. This is Trail of Bits. They recently uh, audited the TAC compiler code base. Uh, they used it on TAC version 1.5.0, and they found zero critical vulnerabilities. Of course, there are issues here and there, minor ones, but zero critical vulnerabilities. Uh, there's, that means there's no miscompilation that can affect your contracts, um, at least found by uh, top auditors. Let me switch to the next topic. Of course, uh, for any modern language, it is impossible to just, you know, uh, bring out this compiler, right, and then uh, sit back and relax. No, there needs to be lots of tools to support developers. And these tools are some simple things like uh, some Program editors extensions like VS Code extension, well, like Vim plugin. I know there are some Vimers out there. I mean, I've been myself one. I mean, if you're a Vimer, just, uh, I don't know, woo or something. Yeah, I can see at least one or two people. Yeah, nice. There is a JetBrains IDE plugin by Andre Pau and the core team. Uh, and there is a Ton Web IDE, which uh, I will be talking next after showing this cool slide with tag.vim plugin. So please give it a try. Uh, Tone Web IDE, really cool stuff. Uh, this is to bring new developers on board easily. Uh, it looks like this. If you go to ide.tone.org, uh, you can start using it. You can start using both Tact and Fun C um, from within your browser. You don't have to install anything on your machine. Um, this is a tool to onboard new developers. Uh, it has uh, lots of cool features like GitHub support. Uh, it is integrated with Tag Docs. So in Tag Docs, if you go to the Tag Cookbook, you click on some uh, snippet open in Web IDE, and instantly you can open that uh, that recipe in in this thing. Okay, next uh, security, smart contract security is the pain in the neck, right? It's uh, it's really expensive. Uh, it's a real problem, right? And you don't want your project to lose funds uh, because of some simple, you know, um, some simple bug, arithmetic bug in your contract, right? So for that, we collaborate with uh, two companies. Um, so for instance, these are the threats, like sell our flows, under flows, uh, like some reply attacks, and expect the arithmetic exceptions. If you programmed for Tom blockchain, you for sure experienced it. So our solution, the first try is static analysis. Um, we collaborate with two uh, companies that uh, develop these uh, tools. Uh, it's, the first one is the Misty Tone Analyzer, and the second one is the Sprito Tone Symbolic Analyzer. Let me talk a little bit about these. So uh, Misty, uh, it has support for tact, uh, and fancy support and talk support is planned in the future, uh, probably uh, 2025. It has been already used in real-world security audits. It has found critical bugs, so give it a try if you're using TACT. It has 25 bug detectors and more to come. It's based on classical monotonic framework, um, and also it has some data log-based plugins, uh, and so you can ex actually extend your uh, analyzer just like writing a little bit of prolog code, uh, like 10 lines of code, and you bam, you have new analyzer. It integrates with Blueprint and you can add it to your CI. The next one by Esprito, it works at TVM level. So any language, it supports any language whatsoever. It's based on like a huge amount of academic research. It's really state of the art analyzer. Uh, it uses symbolic execution uh, under the hood. It does interprocedural contact uh, and path sensitive analysis, has uh, 20 plus detectors and more to come. It can generate even test cases for you, for your code. It just automatically generates test cases. Uh, this is really impressive, I think. And also, it is extensible with uh, user rules. And uh, at the end of my talk, let me talk a little bit about the roadmap for 
2025 for TACT. So first of all, new backend. So right now, TACT is implemented as a transpiler to FUNC. No more FUNC in 2025. There will be new backend with uh, optimized for, for instance, for gas. It will support upgradable contracts, full TLB support, all the TVM primitives, and also high-level primitives like algebraic data types and pattern matching. And um, we are also taking security of the compiler really seriously. We are working on a compiler fuzzer to make sure the compiler is really safe. Um, we are planning new security audit for the upgraded version of TACT. And yeah, gas optimizations. Gas is a little bit of a problem here, right? So we are working on this. Uh, there are some high level um, opt-in optimizations, we will allow you to switch some, switch off some of the tagged features to get uh, gas benefits. Uh, we will implement static analysis, not only for security, but for optimizing code. And uh, we'll employ techniques like partial evaluation, laser operations, that kind of stuff. And of course, uh, some low level peephole kind of um, optimizations as well. Uh, in terms of um, DevTools, uh, there will be uh, new tagged VS Code plugin, which will be unified, had, will, will have unified implementation with uh, Web IDE, for instance. It will allow code navigation. You will jump, jump from from one place to another. You will format it automatically. Uh, there will be like doc hints. It will be integrated with the static analyzers and so on and so forth. Of course, we will add uh, the talk support uh, into that tooling, and also, it's really a pain to start new DAP. Uh, on ton, but with uh, contract templates and contract libraries, it's going to be very easy. So if you have like a contract template for a DeFi project, you just clone it, modify it according to your business logic, and voila, you, you're done, right? So for that purpose, we're forming a team of smart contract authors. It will, they will be supporting both tact and talk and fancy, probably. Um, and so, yeah, there will be well-tested, verified, and so on and so forth for you to actually build on top of all that. So Tone Studio wants to be the bedrock that you can build on. So thank you for your attention. Get in touch with us.